I remember it was it was interestingly enough during the Fragapalooza hybrid events during COVID that we had like the biggest trouble with getting people to play Smash. 2019 was my first year at Fragapalooza, and I played in both the Smash tournaments, which was just free for all and doubles, and I managed to win both of them. But and my impression that I got was a lot of people playing in the Smash tournaments there. I think I was the only person that was there to play in the Smash tournaments and like practicing competitively. Most people were there like for frag first and foremost and like, oh, there's a Smash tournament going on. I'm going to play and have fun. And that's what most people were doing. I think I was the only person that came there like, hey, I want to play my first Smash tournament. So let's handle this super competitively, which was not quite the right mentality there. But there was quite a decent few people playing in it. It was pretty fun. I identified some of the issues that were going on in the Smash tournaments and worked with Frag, and then one thing led to another. Now I'm the Smash person. <laughs> but after 2019, like, COVID started, and, uh, well, I'm not marking that guy here, and things had to go online. So we did the... They were just online events of Fragapalooza. So in 2020... Here we go. Now we can just beat up this guy. Yeah, good old COVID there. In 2020, it was just like, hey, everyone has to stay home, but we're still going to do like a four-day frag event and there will be events and stuff going on. You can tune into the boop frag stream and get rewards and stuff like that is what we did. But the participation in the events was a whole lot lower. So they weren't in a physical venue where we could make announcements of, hey, this fun thing is going on over here. Come over here if you want to play. It was just people tuning into a Twitch stream where there was multiplayer games and popping if you want to play. So there definitely wasn't as much engagement there. And so we used Smash GG in 2020 for our platform to do the bracket. There's, a, there's another branch done. And the thing about Smash GG is you can see the tournaments posted like just by browsing around and seeing, hey, here's upcoming tournaments. And it's a really popular platform for people to go to for it. And despite the fact that it was no longer a paid event, like people could play in these tournaments for free is what we still decided to do for this online event. And because there was like a, what, $250 or $300 or something like that prize pool, we just did cash prizes rather than physical prizes because it was easier online. Because of the prize pool and a free tournament, my God, everybody and their mother signed up for that tournament all of which had like no connection to Fragapalooza or the local scene. And despite being a Fragapalooza event, I don't think that did like any advertising for Fragapalooza at all. Like nobody cared. Everyone just saw that it was a free tournament and that there was like this big cash prize. So we we had like 140 people sign up for that tournament or something like that. It was ridiculous. And then we also found out later that there was another big tournament going on that day with an even bigger prize pool. So a lot of people changed their minds about our tournament. So a lot of people just decided to dip out and play in that other one instead. So we had like 140 people, and I think over half of them were disqualified because they didn't show up for their games. <laughs> it was uh, it was a little bit of a mess. It was it was kind of awful. Who's the who's the last guy here? The silver vein. Hold on. Let's see here. Let me just be on track here so I can ramble while I'm making progress in the game. The silver vein. That is going to be the second last guy, because the last guy is that one. So that's going to be McKay on the Feared. Clues gives away location. Okay, so I do have to just go after the clue. I do need it then. Scavengers Coast look for a dead body in the rocks bodies above the water. Hold on, let me just pinpoint this down, and then I'll keep on rambling. Was lost in a cove on Scavengers Coast in Akaya. Where the heck is Akaya? Uh, Akaya is... NFB, Akaya, Akaya, here, Scavenger's Coast, oh, here, look for a dead body in the rocks, bodies above water, so it's gotta be above, like, the shoreline here somewhere, so I'll just mark this way, looks like this is my closest fast travel point, I guess I could take my ship, I'm gonna take my ship, it'll be faster, and go that way, so that's the way that it was in 2020, and it was just complete mayhem. So 2021, we decided to not use Smash GG again. We decided to do something a little bit. No, I, we might have actually used Smash GG for two years is what it was. It was 2022, the hybrid event that we changed it up. So yeah, I think that might have happened with Smash GG for two years. So it might have happened. I don't know. Those two years are kind of blurring together in my head. All arrows pierce shields I just got an engraving by taking out that guy. 
But 2022 is when we went back to semi in person. We did the Fragapalooza hybrid event, we called it. Where some of the COVID lockdowns were starting to be like lifted, but it was still a little bit sketchy. So we did Fragapalooza in the mega FPS venue. This venue here that you're seeing in the thumbnail and that I was just showing with the, uh, the, this. This was at Mega Land this year. But this is what we did for Fragapalooza 2022 was Fulton Place, this smaller venue. So the tickets for that were like very selective. It was just like, hey, the main people that are helping run this first and foremost and our main streamers and stuff. And then there's a finite amount of tickets and we're still hosting our events online. You can play there in person or you can play online if you want. It was our hybrid event. And we had like physical prizes and stuff that were being given away to even those online. And my friend who lives in California, one of the mods of the channel, Carvia, he won a monitor that was sent to him and he was very excited about that. Um, but with Frag 2022, why is my wanted level up, Max? We decided to use a different platform, not Smash GG. We used a platform called Pepper, which I believe is based in like British Columbia. It was designed to be like a new kind of permit bracket service. And it was kind of a promotion with them where they would sponsor some of the prize winnings. Uh oh, they would sponsor some of the prize winnings if we used their platform. And it would depend on how many people we got to sign up. So it was like, if we got 16 people to sign up, they'd give this amount. If we got 32 people to sign up, they'd give us this amount, so on and so forth. But because we were using Pepper, this platform that nobody had ever heard of before, it basically guaranteed that only people that were in the loop of Frag would be signing up for that tournament, which no longer meant that everybody and their mother was gonna be signing up, so it didn't have to deal with the mayhem of that. And it was like, okay, yeah, maybe we'll get around the same amount of people that normally sign up for the Frag tournaments. So like definitely a few dozen people, I figured maybe we could expect. We got 12 people to sign up for that because it was still like the semi online thing. It was still mostly online in a small in-person venue. There were, no, I think we got 10 people signed up. And then because there were so few people, me and my co-commentator, decide to sign up but then just say that if we win we're not gonna take like the winnings it'll be like get passed down to the next person just to make the bracket a bigger size and because 12 is an easier number to work with with the bracket so the only people that were playing there in person were myself my co-commentator and my cousin's older kiddo and the only game that we actually had in person in the tournament were my co-commentator versus my cousin's kiddo which i believe it was my cousin's kiddo that managed to narrowly beat him and like, they were so hyper-focused playing against each other, and that was fun, having like the three of us crowd around my tiny little setup there. <laughs> that was the only in-person thing. And we thought that we were gonna have like a good mix of some in-person games, some online games, it'd work out. Now it was like one online game, or one in-person game, and the rest was online. The person who took the tournament was Silver, who was this legendary pit player, who my cousin's kiddo has been telling me here recently, is apparently like one of the top players in Canada. He was amazing. He was a really nice guy too, it seemed like. And I thought like, hey, Carvey is like the best Smash player I know. Maybe he'll be able to mop up. It was a very close game with him and Silver, but Silver narrowly managed to take it. I've still yet to convince Carvia to <laughs> make the trip from California to come into a actual frag one day and mop up the tournaments there. That'd be super fun to see. But yeah, it was very, very few people there. So it was a very short tournament. So when you're doing things online, there's not going to be all that many people there, it seems like, for Frag. So I noticed that in person, there'll be lots of people signing up because, like, there's this announcement, hey, there's this tournament going on, anyone that wants to come play Smash can just come over and play Smash, and it's super easy to just come over and play it and have some fun. When you're doing it online, then basically no one involved with Frag is going to be signing up for that. But if you do it on a popular platform where it's discoverable, Everyone is going to sign up just interested in the prize money and it's going to do no advertising for Frag. Or if you do it on a not so popular platform and it's online, you're going to get barely anybody signing up. <laughs> is what's going to go on there is why I found out. But last year, Fragapalooza back to fully in person, we actually had, it's got to be this, right? Wait, along the rocks. Was it Shipwreck Cove or was it a different? I don't know. Let's go check that out. So that was what I learned when it comes to turnout. So yeah, the year that we used Pepper in the hybrid event was definitely the event where I'd say I was most desperate for turnout. Last year, it was not half bad. Like I always say the more the merrier when it comes to those kinds of tournaments. But the turnout last year was actually pretty all right. 
we had a fair amount of people in there and it was enough to have like a decent bracket going and like a decent crowd around for the smash tournaments and people were having fun and it was good to see it was a good enjoyable time and if we get something like that going on again this year with better organization then great but all right all right but already the location where i have my table set up being right next to the stage it's sounding like i'm probably gonna be able to have the stage for more than i did last year and the fact that we can actually probably get like a proper setup right close by and it's shaping up to be pretty good i just hope that i can get for one of those stations like one of those big tv screens like we used last year for doubles i can find a photo of it here i can wait i don't even have to send it to myself i can show one of the ones i just sent to frag staff find one of the ones I sent to the president of frag here Gil, the last time that I sent stuff to you here it was let's see here because I sent photos of what our setup there looked like this is what we did last year where it was right in front of the head table so the stage was over here here was the head table of all the frag staff and then the screen that was normally running ads and relayed stuff is where we got things set up so, like, the screen size was great. It was fantastic. It was just blocking main places for people to go through. And you could see, like, a decent bit of a crowd here watching. And then right behind it, I got, like, a monitor set up for the singles to play there. But I don't think you would be able to get 2v2s going on a tiny little monitor screen. I've played Mario Kart 8 on my Switch in tabletop mode for player, like, the four screen thing. And it's the most abysmal thing. At least this is like a shared screen. It's not as bad as something like that. But still four people gathered around a small monitor. It's not all that great. This was great. Like, it's not the full stage screen, which is like the most ideal. But when I can't use the stage and we were using this, it's a good screen size. It's just the location wasn't great. So if I can work out with the rest of Frag staff, like how to get a screen like this, or maybe even this very screen, over there on the other side of the stage for our little smash area for doubles that'd be great because this works great for doubles have like two stations one station is the stage one station is this screen that'd be amazing and then for singles have like the stage this screen and a monitor for like three stations that'd be fantastic if it works out like that but we'll see we'll see what ends up happening there and there will probably be lots of times i won't be able to use the stage but i'll I'll use it for whenever I can, will be the case. And then if anyone wants to play on the stage, I'll just take requests for that and keep a little notepad list for like, okay, this person wanted to play on the stage. I'll queue them up next. And then this person also wanted to play on the stage. They can play after this group. In case anyone really wants to play on the big screen and be on stream and stuff like that. Unless it's so dang backed up that it's like, yeah, this term is taking too long. Otherwise, you're going to have to play on one of these smaller setups. That is the plan. Buy some rocks on shore. It might not be this place. It might be some other place. But that is the current plan. Cultist Clue is nearby. Okay, so it is around here. This is the right place, actually. A dead body on some rocks. Maybe I can just, like... Is that a dead body? I think it is, right? Is this the... You wink? Yes! It is the Cultist Clue. May as well grab these things while I'm here anyway. So I may as well do it at this point. So that's what I'm hoping for. I can bring in a couple monitors. Like, I'll bring in two monitors for me to stream with. And I won a monitor at Mega at Mega Land's event. I keep on wanting to say Mega FPS's event, and I couldn't tell if I wanted to say Mega Land or Mega FPS. I won a monitor at Mega FPS's event Mega Land this past May. That's just sitting in my room over there that I figure will become a monitor that I can use out of the late cabin to second screen my laptop, which would be nice. And otherwise, I can bring to events like Frag. I might just bring that monitor and turn it into a station that people can play Smash at for the singles. That's what I think I'll do. Imagine <laughs> setting up a tiny station like that for the free-for-alls where there's six people playing at once. Or eight people playing at once if we have enough turnout. We did six last year. It said that if there's a lot of people playing, we'll turn it into eight. So we'll see. So I guess more people signing up for that would be great in the sense of, hey, wouldn't it be cool to do eight at once? But we'll see how many people sign up. Anyway, I'll probably bring that monitor along and use it for a station for Smash. <laughs> it was really funny at the Mega FPS event when they were doing draws and giving away a lot of prizes. There was a surprising amount of Fragapalooza staff. 
that were winning prizes. So people were making jokes about how all this gaming equipment being given away at Mega FPS is going to turn into Fragapalooza prizes this August. Going <laughs> to get given away again there. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it would be kind of funny. It was funny to joke about. And then there was something else I was going to mention, and now I forgot what the heck it even is, I'm going to be honest. It was something or other. Up we go. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Frag this year. Hopefully things will go uh, go a whole lot smoother. Whoa. Will be the case. Like, it was pretty mayhem last year with that little impromptu setup on the side. And I just brought, like, a little Chromebook that I won at Fragapalooza 2019 and used that to keep track of the bracket. And people could come over and check my Chromebook whenever they wanted to see what the bracket was at stuff i did post it in the frag discord server i don't think anyone ever used it from there everyone just used like the in-person thing it was super convenient and right there so i don't blame them but now that everything will be right close by it'll be so convenient it'll be nice investigate the clue what i thought i got did i get a thing for a different cultist did i get a different clue there doesn't seem like it i thought i just collected it Hold on. On Scavenger's Coast, was this the thing? Shipwreck Cove. I thought I got a cultist clue. Do I need to get more? Hold on. This dude is Makai on the Feared. I'm going to YouTube here. How to find a defeat cultist, Makai on the Feared. This is by Gary Lubana, this video. This looks like a different doc what it looks like or is it a, no it's the same one from a different place hold on is there one by the other channel where it's even shorter i don't see it okay let's scan through this video find where this cultist clue is i thought i got the one from the thing the website says it's on the rocks look for a dead body in the rocks buddy bodies above water so where does the dudo go in the video? In the rocks, huh? Just find where it is from the YouTube video here. Because they go to some tip. A rocky area. YouTube's kind of lagging and taking a little while to load when I skip ahead five seconds. Yeah. I was close. But it's like here-ish seems like so yeah that'd be the uh that'd be the way that smash stuff is shaping up here is the case last year i know that one of the issues was getting enough switches for the different stations because we were planning to have like three different stations that didn't end up working out and then things were just fine we used my switch used my older cousin's switch and then we used uh sergeant bastard's switch was the case and then that was three, and we never even used three at a time anyway, so it worked fine. And three is the most we'd have going at once here anyway, so... Yeah, I should probably reach out to Surinal. Surinal, Sergeant Bastard, same thing. It goes by those two different things. Should probably reach out to Surinal here again in the near future, being like, Hey, can I just use your Switch again? That'd be great, thanks. I think they were here in the video. Oh, yeah. There, right? I think. There. There we go. Jeez. Got some clues. Unveil who the heck you are. Listen, I don't ask questions. I just follow orders. And you don't wear shirts either. Makai on the Feared. The Silver Vein. Makai on the Feared started simply enough. He sacrifices wealth to Cosmos, but the god did not listen to Makayon's prayers. On a dark night, he sacrificed his only child, then his servants. Nothing. So now Makayon aimed to sacrifice all the Greek world. Cosmos would not be listening. Cunning spy in his myths, however, would be. Oh, I didn't mark him. Whoops, dang it. Who are these other people now? Mark. Uh, oh, you're over here. There's a quest thing right there. So let's just fast travel to the dock over here, and this will be close. That bounty is way too high to pay. I don't care about that. I wonder if I can upgrade my ship, my current funds. I might be lacking wood again, most likely. Okay, so, yeah, this guy's just right over here. So it should be fairly easy to just kind of run over 
phone a friend, beat him up, take his lunch money, and then there's another cult member taken down. Like, I think I will definitely finish off the main plot line of AC Odyssey tonight. There's not a whole lot of cult members left. It doesn't seem like here. Oi. Mr. Dudo. I'm taking all this stuff. Oh. I didn't realize that... I should have realized it was a heavily guarded area. What with the restricted area thing at the top and the whole kill a captain. I need to lose them so I can phone a friend and hopefully get the jump on this guy over here. Would be nice. So my phone a friend button. Is that the ready now? Phone a friend. There we go. Jump over this way and then stab him a whole bunch of times. Where's my friend? Where's my friend? Fighting over there, it looks like. All right, that's fine. I guess I can deal with this. With my full armor set perks, I do do significantly more damage than I used to. <laughs> this game. It's so silly. Oh my goodness, the lag. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. Okay, uh. Can I chain it back into him? Oh, no, dang it. Oh, I still got it. This guy, I guess. Is he just stuck swimming? Is he coming ashore? <laughs> okay, he is. Hi. Oh, he set his thing on fire. Hi. But I do this. And then I can charge up my adrenaline a whole bunch with a bunch of stabs here. Whoa, or not. But, oh my god. Man, fire is so much more threatening to me than is to everyone else in this game. Oh my goodness. You need to maybe not do that. <laughs> you shifted around kind of weirdly, didn't you? <laughs> if only you didn't heal there. Okay, I can dash over pretty far. Uh-oh. There's a mercenary after me here. That's not the best news, but I'll deal with you fast enough, I think. Okay, the mercenary's over there. I'm gonna have to confirm the this kill, though. So maybe I can heal. And then... Where's the cultist? Okay, he's there. Wait, can I confirm the kill in the water? Here, let me just do that. Just get some adrenaline back for future battles. And then you'll be stunned on the ground and not dealing with me for just a moment. Which should give me enough time to... <laughs> Come over here. Confirm... Confirm kill... Please. Watch it. Didn't even stab them. I guess you don't stab them if they're in the water. I guess there's no animation for that. Sweet. Now I gotta dip out. Oh, good. There's another dudo. All clues discovered. Here's another one of the inner circle dudos. The sage is known as wise. A sage can be found in a cult stronghold. The sage is a person of great wealth. The sage is involved with the ship trait. The gate is in Akaya. In case anyone wants to read that, you can pause and read that. Maybe I should have done that with the other ones, but oh well. Too little, too late. Poleman the wise. Life's greatest tragedy was that one could know the world and do nothing to change it. A rule that applied to all but Polemon. I'm going to call him Polemon because it's funny. The <laughs> it's a Pokemon knockoff. The wise was the true architect of the war between the Delians and the Peloponnese. Or Peloponnese, I don't know how it's pronounced there. The cult's reason for the war was simple. Control through chaos. Polemon's was simpler. He wanted wealth that would stoke the fires of this war until every Greek son had died in battle. Seems like a rude dude. So where is he at so I can go murder him? He is at... Oh, he's just right here. Oh, I have to venture further in. So I don't even have fast travel anywhere. I better just book it there. Well, I can fast travel here, but I have to book it out of here anyway, so... Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I... <laughs> that poor guy just got poison arrowed by the guys that are going after me. If my horse could get over here, that would be great. Zigzag. Fire horse, let's go. Let's go use my Rapidash to go get Pullmon. Oh, uh, there was an accident. Please don't kill me, chicken. Please don't be like Legend of Zelda. I'm pretty sure these chickens have killed me in this game earlier. I know they've attacked me and been really, really mean. Okay. Why does my horse seem so slow? Also, why is the game running at 40 FPS? Oh, it's speeding up. Really? Darn you, Ubisoft. Alright, squeezy! 
Ooh, oh my god, it's so weird. All right, up we go, I guess. Away we go. Anyway, in terms of other stuff with Frag, one of the things I was mentioning earlier was kind of my schedule with it, what I want to do during it. There's a lot of things I have on this channel that are almost done. So, I will they let pizza in? What if you order a pizza? I think that someone did that last year and they had to go to... No, it was Guzma that did that, I believe. Guzma when he was there last year. I'm pretty sure he ordered a pizza and they couldn't come into the venue. They had to like deliver it to one of the entrances. And I think he went to the wrong entrance. And then like the pizza guy just left. Like he went to the wrong entrance and then he just like immediately dipped and <laughs> didn't come back. And then Guzma didn't get his pizza is what I think happened. It's been nearly a year now. So I don't remember exactly clearly. And Guzma dipped out for the night, so can't ask him right now. But I'm fairly certain that's what happened. But you can request them to come to the Duke Rec Center and come to one of the entrances. But I don't think they'll come in. And if you get, like, a really bad delivery driver, then, like, you might just be shit out of luck. Yeah. <laughs> this is the case. But with my game schedule, it's, uh, yeah, just do that. My co-commentator in Fragapalooza 2022, who is a friendo that I met, in Fragapalooza 2019, who I played and won the doubles tournament with. He was, I don't know if he still is, but he at the time was working like a pretty good paying job and he was feeling really generous and uh, he just ordered pizza for the whole venue. Of course, it was a much smaller venue with the hybrid event. It wasn't like hundreds of people, but it was still super generous of him. Yeah, hello, hello, the beast lies sort. You love how the channel rules is just the lyrics to the Bill Nye theme? Hmm? What makes you think it's not serious rules? What well, makes you think it's just the lyrics to the Bill Nye theme and it's not serious enforceable rules? In fact, you're going to get a warning now of you violated the rule Bill, 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 Bill. I'll have you know, the warning has been sent. Consider yourself warned. You violate this rule again and there will be more severe consequences. There might be more warnings to be had. Consider yourself warned. What the heck do I still need a mark here? <laughs> you must adhere to the stream rules. We are extremely strict about them here. Oh, I'd really like to kick that guy off. Uh, anyway, in terms of games I'd want to play there, the current game schedule is like, there's a lot of things that are almost done. So I want to finish the main game of this and then maybe that like optional blue quest DLC stuff. Okay, the stream rules are being followed. You'd love to see it. So I want to finish off this plus like that DLC missions. Maybe those blue quests is what I might just do. And then at Fragapalooza, I'll just do like the full playthrough start to finish of the first main DLC of this Legacy of the First Blade. Because apparently it's only like eight hours, so I can do it easy peasy. It's a you, right? Cult member. So I can just do that easy peasy there, I figure, is my plan. 